Have we had any interactions with the local wildlife? A few. It was a close moment with a few coyotes, but... Uh, <laughs> we survived. Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Turn the other cheek to Sodomy, or you will My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. What a weirdo. Research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Fairclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. <laughs> Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Nastas is smart. I like Nastas. One of the few people who I like in this game. I like the older guy as well, who we first met in uh, in Mexico. It seems like there's one person in each area who's not I'm actually a total a nervous, idiot. I have to say. A touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along. Oh. Oh. Shoot it! Shoot it! Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Jeez. My God, that was terrifying! I say we leave before any of its friends turn up. Not too bad of a gun, that one. Yeah. My goodness, I'm still shaking. What a ferocious animal! That bear showed no signs of aggression. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say, but perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir... Here we are. Whoa there. Well, let's get this started. I hope I don't have to smoke up the pipe. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not 
what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, oh. Professor, get down now! No! Nastas! Rip. It's always the ones you like. You ain't outlaws. You're idiots. Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here. Oh my god, I got killed. God damn it. I just shoot his hat. Pretty sure I just shot his hat. Can't see the other guy. Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. Yes, let's get out of it, hellhole. Come on. New horse. Oh, dummy nader. Well, I'll, I'll get him back when I get to Blackwater. I'll just whistle him there. I've had, I don't know, quite a few. I just take random horses. I don't, I don't get attached to them. I just take them. <laughs> you take whatever's there at the time. Someone killed your horse. So what? Oh really? Well, so you could get your horse back. No. I tamed it. Oh, the well, okay. I, I jumped up on a random horse. And it's a pretty good horse. Oh, okay. Come on! Oh. So now I've been leaving it away from the other one. Making sure to keep your. You've, you've done the opposite of me. I will never talk ill again. of you again. Yeah. Civilization yeah, in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I yeah. glad to be back? Yeah, but don't call the war horse the right. It will Something to clear the mind you. and yeah. restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on Have sleeping. You've been enjoying it. Sleep, my dear yeah. boy. I'll probably never sleep again. Easy. Yeah, you probably would have done. You probably do better than me at I, everything. I, I shot them in the head of oh yeah, yeah, I didn't do any of that. I'm <laughs> great. Are you gonna feed me? Uh, maybe when this is done. <laughs> are we doing something tomorrow? Safe and sound. Oh, Johnny said you were my friend. So much for a minute. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some Thank you, so Charlie. salty. <laughs> I can't see you. You're treating the horse the way they treated your wife. I don't even know what's happened to her. Like, what's going on with her family? No, I didn't for a while. But I don't know. I don't know. No, I. I've um. Well, is, is she alive or not? Yeah. Yeah, and the kids alive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I've been trying to pick up the strumpets. The what? <laughs> the strumpets. What? Oh, you have? I mean, I've okay. been uh, studying a sim for like howdy man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wait before this cutscene starts. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just not, I'll not start it until you're done. Don't 
than than saying hello to everybody. Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Or blown tire, you shush. Dominator is back. Come on. I'm gonna try and get this horse for this guy. Someone stole his horse. <gasps> Bag over there, shot him. Where is he? Oh my god, Adam. No! He's gone! He shut the horse! Rip. Rip. I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> you should have shot him and that's enough. I should have shot him, but I thought. You don't know about this relationship anymore. Damn it. That's it, it's over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> can we can we split them? Can I have one gaming pig and you can have the other? No, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I messed up. I should have just shot the guy. Damn it. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. <laughs> oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boy's here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna <laughs> run across the rooftops. 
Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zeno. Thank me. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> I don't thank me, we're still I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, this has been the funniest cutscene. Yes. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. <laughs> Good job shutting up. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Oh my god, I had <laughs> I had so many issues there. First I had the lasso out and then, oh my, god damn it. One more move and he's a dead man. Why did he not? What the? Why? Stay back or the teacher gets it. My god, you took your sweet time. God damn it. You're not kidding I took my sweet time? No! got us pinned down on both sides! You Bloody hell, that was that was bad. I was shooting his gun, is that what it was? I was better at games. I have no ears for your bastard world. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Beat you down. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Move. Head for Manzanita Post. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West, the romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. I haven't made up my mind about whether games are getting more difficult or if I'm just Leave getting old. I definitely find it more difficult to get into games now. Like to get to get good at games. I definitely think it's because I'm getting a bit older. I'm not old by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel like it you definitely get Definitely lose lose something, lose your edge. 
or the ability to pick up games as quick. 18 raiders from Nos. Ah, cool. Thanks for the the raid, Nos. you enjoyed your, your, what you're doing on Red Dead as well. Look at Hammer and tell him with a straight face you're getting old. I didn't say I was getting old. Here we are. I said I was getting older. A one -way ticket to civilization, <laughs> please. <sighs> My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> so long, Professor. <gasps> so long, sir. Quite the character. All right, back to see the other scumbags. They're all scumbags in this game. Let's just ride there. Let's go. Yes, why not? Quick, spend eighteen dollars. Is there anything that I can buy for eighteen dollars? Oh, Jesus. This is available backwards compatibility on Xbox One, yes. I actually bought it for the Xbox One. Premium Oats. Buy some interior decorations or some coal and wood. Come on. Let's see what the gunsmith has. Three AM. Oh my! <sighs> Come on. That's why they don't show up on the radar. I mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. Slow down. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Mister, is there anything of yours? A bit of poetic justice. Me, Carnelius Wolf, killing you. Yeah, whatever. These cars are ready for your hand. Yes. Story of my life. Oh, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> you want Jack's late night guns over on 5th. 
Not everyone has the same work ethic as you, bro. Uh, Is he still not open? Oh no, there we go. Wait, where is he? Hello? Okay, well... No guns for me then. He's on a break. God damn it! He's restocking his bunker. <laughs> of course. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from Admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect they're really not so bad exactly what's the alternative yeah see i'll tell you what the alternative is it's not complicated it's about one man and his gun versus another man <laughs> sure civilization may be dull but the alternative mr marston is hell and the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now. After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. What is that? <laughs> Here's the technical, technical 
Technical classic. Technical classic armored version. Now keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Quick, look at this thing. Have you seen this? He's got a gun on and the back! In all my born days, I never seen such a gun. Oh, man. They told me about these. The army's been building them in secret. Oh, my God. What kind of Technical vintage. This killing machine yes. here seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Mistakes. Yeah, right. Yeah, this will this will cost a fair amount in Red Dead Online, I'm sure. Here the cow! Look, they brought the machine gun. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Yeah, that's true. It's weaponized this, so they'll be able to charge loads for it. I guess so. Yep, I'm ready to finish it. Let's do it. Fingers on the triggers, boys. This cannot go wrong in any way, I'm sure. There they are! Open fire! Come on! We'll kill you all! Like there's a fair amount of them. Look, they're running. Move out. Don't let them get away. Come on. Come on. Christ. Things a lot bumpier off the road. It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. Can't you hold this thing steady, Fordham? I'm trying my best, sir. Get those men behind the rocks! We should have done this a long time ago. You're making a big mistake here. Take them out! God damn it.
Everything's out of control. It's coming straight out of our cavalry. Some good armor on this, considering it's uh, taking all the shots that I'm shooting at it. Bullseye. I wonder what I got that for. Oh! Oh, what a scumbag! Oh, that didn't go about. Cyberdust with the 10 months in a row. Pew, 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 indeed. Thank you so much, Cyberdust, for the 10 months. Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross. Captain. Let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Okay. Let's go. Where we go? So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. Well, this is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Who are they? I'm calling all the shots. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once. Long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fellow you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Until those suits back there came and knocking. Threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after them. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals. With all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller, if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. When we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. Back into the snow. Far away we are from the end of the game. Oh, what a scumbag! I'm assuming the game will end when we kill Vandalin. When we kill the scumbag. Uh, Oak Dog with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I like snow. In Thank you, Orb Dog. About an hour, an hour and a half left. Oh, really? Not that long? Okay.
this has been a long ride. Normally, this is like punctuated with um, story and shouting and stuff, but this is a long ride. It's pretty nice. I like this area. This has been a nice yeah. ride. Oak dog with 100 bits, why are shits? What? That makes no sense. Thank you for the 100 bits. I don't know what you mean though. Protect your voice, you don't want to go horse. Uh, I've got another hour and a half left because this ride takes another hour to do. Is that how it is? Okay. <laughs> We're nearly there, it looks like. Let's just... You can do it, horsey. Cut the corner. You blow that gate open. Move, soldier. That line, I know. All right, assault time. This army guy seems like he knows what he's doing. It's time to kill Follow these motherless me. bastards! Push forward! God damn it, I'm right back at the start, of course. I should be more careful. to block bullets Stop with your right face. Your you Come on. No Good idea. Oh, are you for real? Are you for? Push into the building. Come on, let's finish this. I got lucky. I got lucky.
Can you just die? <laughs> oh, you for real. I knew. I knew. I knew I shouldn't have. Please don't put me back at the start. Let's go, Tell man. Me. Move into the village. Come oh, on. Thank God. <laughs> you take it from here, Mr. Marston. Don't fail this time. We'll be waiting with your family. God damn it. Oh, for God's sake. All right, screw this. Ah, oh, this would have made things a lot easier. Maybe not. Okay, it, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> at this rate, we might be looking at, more, uh, at about three more hours left. Yeah, I didn't like that that strategy as much, I'll be honest. I like that position. You man the Catholic gun, Marston. But I don't like being on that gun. You think you're tough guys, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. What about the Catholic gun? Do it. Yes, success. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. All right, men. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover up! Follow me! We'll sit there for something! You're leaving them wide open! I'm having such issues. You lost one! Keep up the fire! For God's sake! <laughs> this is it, man! Let's get that gate down! Keep them covered now, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosives. Yeah. For Christ's sake. What are you doing? Look out, man down. You ain't nothing there. but a bunch up, of women. Man. Come on. Where are you Don't at? You stand there, do something. Everyone get back! Armored Karuma Here would be comes. pretty good at this time. Yes. It would help. You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Uh-oh. Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. I suggest you follow me. Stop right there, I'll blow your brains out. Open 
Ooh. Run, 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 Oh, he's got a, got himself an escape tunnel. Oh, just a cave. You're just like me, John. You can't change who you are. I ain't like you. <laughs> A legit man cave. Come on, Dutch. Can't run forever, buddy. I was dead. <laughs> Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, yeah. Oh. Oh, he did. He, uh, he's super dead. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, oh. dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. 
Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Okay. Excellent. Here's a little anticlimactic. Head home to see your family. Okay. Where is it? Ah, oh, that's where we are. That's where we we live. Okay. Uh, is it another one of those? One of those traveling sections with the music. Yay! Back home to the family. We redeemed ourselves, right? That's the name of the game. Red Dead Redemption. Peaches Hall. So is this my house? My my farm, my ranch. Cool. Home sweet home. see this day again you no good hillbilly piece of shit i thought you was dead i thought you was <laughs> dead john huh where you been where you been you know where i've been darling <laughs> you know you saw dutch didn't you yeah i saw him and bill yeah i saw him too and you didn't go back to him i left that life just as you left yours how'd they treat you oh. I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again, nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you, and like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair. You know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Aww. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Ben. Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed and no cattle. <laughs> That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? 
Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Home sweet home.